my fucking frail rib cage to do it. You know how many people you just poisoned? What's going on everybody? This is the beginning of the E30 manual swap video. We've already gotten the automatic transmission out and the drive shaft and all that in the back. We're going to start with the master, uh, the clutch, the manual pedal assembly and all that stuff first and then we'll move on to the transmission and then the drive shaft and all that other stuff. <laughs> I gotta get the bumper. Look like you're going fitching. Eh? You go fitching? Bring your legs up, you got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Got it. Dude, you just all right. You owe me a fender now. Shit, my bad. Oh my god, dude! All right, well we got the uh, front bumper for the E30 and the Valance. We've got our uh, master and slave stuff and lines here. Our manual pedal assembly here. Throw bearing, pilot bearing, exhaust uh, hangers and stuff. We have a bunch of hardware here that I we did this so long ago that this is we'll figure out what that's for. We will get to the pedal assembly first. So it goes zoop zoop way down there. This looks long. This better be the right line. This is like 80 bucks. We're going to start by taking this lower kick panel off right here. We got uh, a dinghy, a doobie, and a booby. Your acne is showing. BMW put a zip tie down here from factory, so I'm going to take this off right now. And that should be... This panel should come down, huh? Is there another screw over there? Oh no. You got some wiring on the panel. Oh, yeah. Some cockning. What? Oh, is... there it goes. I just breathed in the asbestos. <laughs> Alright. The pedal assembly is together, kind of. This lighting is this lighting is butt cheek. This lighting is poopy stoopy, dinky poopy, pee pee. So... <laughs> This is a bracket. I'm pretty sure we could reuse this bracket, but I had the whole assembly anyways. Put the master on. Uh, we're missing. We had to go get these two bolts here that bolt the master onto this pedal assembly housing. And then we're going to throw this in. We're going to plumb the lines up to the reservoir. And then we'll come back with another update. This is a demon. A demon maneuver here. Can you hold that? Oh my fucking shimmy. Really see what I'm doing. That's a 13. You have a 13 over there, big man. Jeez, I'm doing it. All right, need the rat, the ranch boy, ready guy. Suck it, ranch. You suck it, ranch buddy. I ain't being fucking weird. Doopa doopa doo. You little stinky little stink. Here's the manual pedal assembly. This was an absolute nightmare to get in uh, for us. So we put in the bracket first, and then we plumb the master in, and it helped to, because there's a line that runs up to the reservoir, the brake uh, reservoir, and then there's a clutch hard line that goes down. And it helped to kind of snake both of those in while we put that in. I don't know if you can do it another way, and I don't know if it's better to leave that with this uh, bracket assembly while you snake the whole thing in, but we've got everything routed. There's a hard line going into a soft line, which we'll show you in a second. And then there is the line that goes up to the reservoir. The hard line that comes out of the master cylinder needs to be angled perfectly to get to that uh, that bracket on the firewall. Like we, can, we, you can't do it any other way. It has to be. Unless you bend the line afterwards, which would be make, which would be really hard. Yeah, there's not enough space to bend the line. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the hard line. Now come get the solder. 
So basically, right up there is where the, uh, that's the hard line right there, that little silver cylinder is the master cylinder. And the hard line is very hard to get it routed to this bracket on the firewall right here on the car, on the chassis. That's where it connects to the soft line right there on that bracket. And then from this soft line, the slave cylinder connects to the end. But that's the best way we could route it. And then there is a uh, hose. It's a gravity fed hose to the master cylinder from the brake reservoir, which we can show you right now. Here's the line. It's extremely long. Um, I got the right part number, but the line is very long. So I kind of have it routed. You could either cut it, but I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to route it around. I'm going to route it around down here. It kind of goes whoop, and then it's going to come around there, right there. This is the nipple on the reservoir. I guess you cut this nipple and then all you do is slip this hose right over it. We'll do that at, at like one of the last steps. What's up everybody? New day. I've got everything laid out here that I need. We've got a bunch of new parts for the shift linkage and trans stuff. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to work on the shift linkage. I've got a new cup here and then just some new bushings for it. Uh, I'm reusing a couple things that I bought with the manual swap parts because eventually I'm going to have this car apart. I think in about a couple years I want to do a pretty crazy swap for this car. This stuff doesn't have to last too long, just has to be drivable. I've got a new pin and spring clip here for the trans, and then just some miscellaneous stuff. Initially I was not going to replace this seal, but it looks like it's not even flush. So the last person who put it in did a poor job. And yes, I would like to clean this thing. Unfortunately, uh, I do not have the luxury to be able to clean it right now. So it's going to go in as is. If someone is watching this that needs to get this seal out, I've never done it before. I took a punch, or you could take a screwdriver, flathead, whatever, and I hit in uh, on one side, so you kind of get it to push out on the top. And then I punched a tiny little hole right here, so I had something to bite. And then I would take a screwdriver and a hammer, or you can take whatever, and just kind of give it light taps, and it'll push out. Now I'm going to move on to the clutch fork pivot pin, which is, well, what's left of it is right here. This is very dirty, but that pin is what this fork pivots on, and that's what engages and disengages your clutch. That pin is extremely mushroomed, and here is what the new one looks like. As you can see, uh, there's a huge difference between the two. And I've also got a new spring as well. The new pin is in, and actually... I didn't even have to take that one out because it literally just fell out when I uh, took the spring off. That's definitely why you want to replace them. And I know there is a brass upgrade, but this should be fine for uh, what I need it for. Alright, everything is greased up and ready to go in the car. <laughs> this is how you resurface a flywheel. This is a, this is a BMW uh, spec here. I think everything that's been done to all the cars has not been the BMW spec by any means. You don't think so? No, I don't believe so. Look at that. How's she looking? Doesn't look too bad. Not terrible. It looks usable. Not. You could run it. Grade A, but yeah, it'll work. We should leave these loose and then uh, see how long it takes for the flywheel to disconnect from the crank. Wouldn't that be fun? A fun experiment? And then it comes up and fucking cuts my foot off. Probably cause just sitting there. Just minding its own fucking business, fucking piece of shit. You really don't like that creeper, huh? No, fuck this fucking stupid ass fucking dumbass creeper. That I thing know. was five bucks. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, little little Jimmy John right there walking by was too poor to buy the correct clutch alignment tool, so we bought this universal one, or we rented it from AutoZone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but this universal tool actually worked pretty well. We got this installed in what, five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, total. So going good so far. We'll see. We'll see where we get. We'll see where we get. We'll s dude. <laughs> Dustin. All right. We're going to load up that plate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You want to line up on the other side there, Jimmy Bob? <laughs> Funny guy. Funny guy. I can't see what the fuck I'm doing, Jimmy. Why don't you scoot up? Load up that plate. Let's load up that plate, Jimmy. Alright. The plate is loaded up, I believe. That was we just, bent. We just got this piece out of the parts. We just threw this in the parts washer. Um, we just got the clutch. <laughs> Crooked. We just got the clutch and the flywheel in and everything. And hopefully it's in the right way. We just got a clutch and flywheel in. We're gonna put in this big Johnny now. I kinda wanna get a thumbnail of me like holding it by the car. Could we do that? If you're strong enough. Alright, here, let's move these garbage bits quick. I, try, I literally just trapped myself. This looks kinda sick with all the, uh, the BMWs. <laughs> we should probably clean this up, dude. Let's just dump it on the grass. Can't you just snip tool a picture? It has There's to be authentic. <laughs> We're gonna try and put it in with the linkage. See how she goes. See how she blows. I don't know. Fuck it. There's a bad angle on the clutch disc. I'm not gonna be able to put it in. We're loading up another plate. Yay. It's fucking game time, baby. This is gonna be. This, this is gonna be the job. This is the maneuver. Made impossible because you didn't push the damn clutch tool in when you're lying up and you tighten the damn fucking plate down. Okay, let's do this smoothly and easily. Hold up. Dude. What's wrong, dude? This fucking creeper. You, dude, the trans. Dude, buddy guy. What? You're gonna need to lift the, the back end. Do you have any more room? You can lift up it? a little bit on your tail end. You can use your arm and lift up the uh, back end. You have to tilt the back of the transmission up. Dude, stop. You need to lift up the back end. You the shaft? To... Is the input No, it's shaft? nowhere near. You need to lift up on the back end. How many times did this? Ah! My fucking frail rim cage, dude. <laughs> Move it forward, you know. I'm trying to slide, but it... Oh, yes. Nice. Woo! All right, don't cream. It's supported by itself. <laughs> so somebody had another little accident. You have a lot of accidents. I have an accident. You know how many people you just poisoned? You got that? I'm on, I'm on cam duty. Sacks. That is disgusting. <sighs> so, the basket is too small. The guy at AutoZone cocked me the cock. Any comments, concerns, questions? Um, Your mental state has deteriorated exponentially. Yeah. Since 15 minutes ago. Since when you. Since when you fucking. Since when you did that over there. Go, cool. come on. I can't look. I can't. Go, the camera. Go. Point the camera. Point the camera over there. You <laughs> fucking. 
All right, where's the reverse light switch? I don't want to rip the... Oh, there it is. It's right there. I can't wait to just fucking just crack this thing all over the place. Okay. There is the reverse wiring. Let's see if we can get our fat fingers down in there. Oh my god. Now here is our other one. Alright. What is this thing? Wow. Okay, perfect. Oh, perfect, something actually went right. Okay, so now we cut the nipple and put the line on. Yep. We're gonna spill some brake fluid here. That's okay. How deep do I cut it? I still have to leave that nippular. She leaking? Well, she's pissing. It's line. Line's not going on. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. oh no! I hate this car. Dude. We got everything in. Everything is literally in. Uh, the wiring is done. Drive shaft is done. The transmission's in. Exhaust is in. New hangers for the exhaust. Um, you saw our issue we had with the exhaust manifold gaskets. The hardest part of this was the the starter bolts. It's a bolt and a nut. And what we did was on one of them we had to just reverse it so the nut is on the transmission side. But otherwise nothing was too bad, was it? No, it was just tedious to yeah, be honest. It was just some of it was just kind of like annoying, but it wasn't necessarily hard. Um, so now we're going to go run to AutoZone get brake fluid, we're gonna bleed the clutch, and then we'll test it, see if she works at all. And if it doesn't work, the car is for sale, if anyone wants to buy it. I need a funnel. I cannot believe you're using that. This is going to contaminate my clutch line. Yeah, it's... That's so dirty. <laughs> it's a lot later than we thought. We're, we're sad. And this is horrible. But we're going to test it out right now to see if it works. She's in neutral. First of all, let's see if it even starts. This might not even start. The wiring. Honestly, I don't even... I don't even First start in a year? Not too bad. Oof. You got a rotary? Okay, ready? Try and put it in gear. Get the back wheels. Does it work? Second. Uh, that's good enough for the night. It works. Thank God. Next video, we're gonna be driving it. Oh God. That took so much work. It, it works though, first try. Yeah. Pretty good. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.